it's missing something. Torture Talk, it's time to review the new Surf album. Surf, okay, Sue Surf is a battle rapper from Newark, New Jersey, who is pretty good at battling. Uh, I would say he's in my top, my top 10 uh, battle rappers of all time. Um, Surf is one of those rappers who is very street. Um, He's a, a street rapper, I should say. You know, I, mean, I guess that's the term we all use. Street rapper, I think that uh, Surf uh, is very, very, very good lyrically. I think that he's he's a, a good lyricist. So, uh, this album, I kind of went into it expecting something a little uh, different, I should say. I went into it expecting something a little different, but uh, kind of got the same thing that I get. Usually from from street rappers, the same type of uh, repetitive repetitiveness, the redundantness of how the streets is, and you need to watch your back, and and your boy could be setting you up, or you're watch out for these girls out here, and it's a, it's a cold world, and I'm flipping bricks, and I shot this dude. We know the story. So with that being said, to, in 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 all fairness. The album was okay, uh, even though I kind of uh, went into it expecting uh, something a little different. But why would I expect that when I know that most of the time rappers like this, they kind of do the same type of music. Okay, so getting into the album, he had one song that I think stood out to me and I really didn't like it. Um, one, one song, it sounded totally different from the album, it sounded like it shouldn't even have been on the album actually. It sounded like uh, it was it was like this grungy uh, up tempo type of uh, what's the name him yelling. It was it was different for him. It wasn't something that I would think that he would ever do. And his flow was different. And that's another thing about Surf. Uh, to me, he sounds a little, Meek Millish, that type of Meek Millish. Of course, he's not Meek Mill, and I think he is a much better lyricist than Meek Mill. But it sounds Meek Millish. You know what I'm saying? Like just the whole the tone of his voice I should say not the lyrics but the tone of his voice um the beats were okay I think some of the beats sound the same it wasn't it wasn't really like it wasn't any banger bangers on it to me it was just like okay all right that's okay that's all right that's okay it was just a lot of all right songs on there okay songs it wasn't nothing bad on there just was a bunch of songs on there that was just sound redundant um uh with that being said um some of the songs had great had he had great lyrics in the songs he had a lot of good lines in the songs i think his his pen game stepped up a little bit i should say uh as far as the mixing goes the mixing was 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 pretty tough uh i think the mixing was probably the best part of it and laura uh, lady london was one of uh, the best parts of this album now, if you don't know who Lady London is, I think you should look her up. Um, she's really good. I like Lady London. I always liked her. I think that she's a very good lyricist. She has a very good style, and she kind of... I don't know how to even explain it. She puts a lot of personality into what she's saying. She, you know what I mean? If that, if that makes sense. So Lady London was on it. Uh, that was one of the best songs on the album to me. And I, it, although I kind of like, I'm on the fence with Davey sometimes. I think sometimes he, he's one of those artists that I know can do better. And he just, to me, he just doesn't try. He just, just seems like he just hangs with the same people and say, you know what, I'm just going to rap like this. But I think Davey's can actually be 10 times better than what he really is. I just think he needs to just venture off and do it. The song with Davey's was pretty good. Um, and uh, I like the last song. I thought that his rap in the last song, even though I didn't like that beat too much, but the verse was pretty long, and I liked that. I liked that verse. He said a lot in that verse. You know, I think that 
And to be honest with you, if if he would have attacked the the album on the lines of that, then I think that the album could have been better. He also had Benny the Butcher on the album, and to be fair, well, not to be fair, but I'm just gonna say with Benny the Butcher, it's kind of like now people expecting Benny the Butcher always have the best verse. And I think that it's kind of unfair to Benny because if he slips or if he does something that's just subpar, which this song was subpar, now everybody's looking at him like, oh, he's not as good as we thought. Yeah, you know I mean, eventually that's what people are going to say. But as of right now, Benny's, you know, Benny's on fire. So um, he got a couple of chances to slip up, I should say. So, But with that uh, song, that song was okay. It wasn't my favorite or wasn't the best on the album you know um and that's that so uh all the other songs was just okay to me um i think overall i was i wasn't too surprised or too shocked that this album was gonna be okay i, I mean i went into it with the expectations i may be hearing something different and only heard one song that i thought was different and not to say that surf has to be you know, come out the box and do something totally different from everybody. But, I mean, for me, I can't speak for everybody else, but for me, I'm, I'm so sick and tired of the same type of rap. And it's like, I get it, you're from the streets. I get it, you you don't watch, out, watch your back. And I get it, your boy could set you up. I get it. I get all that. But what's after that? Because obviously, maybe... You're not doing that now. So I don't know. Maybe you are doing it. I don't know. But for me, it's like I need some more creative creativeness in it. And if that's what you're talking about, be a little more creative with it. Because just rapping over beats about things, just not working no more for certain artists. If you don't have some type of creativity behind it, make a story out of it. This album should have been a story. You know what I'm saying? It should have been something where it had skits and it had something that related to something. And that's how you put the album together. Or you put an album together. Just don't just throw a bunch of songs. Oh yeah, I got a song with this person, this person, this person. This person. It's like you're looking for singles. And it's kind of like, I get it. Is this time period calls for that. But to be legendary, you got to take chances. And I think a lot of these rappers, they don't really want to be legendary. They just want to be just known is that guy that's fire, but not in legendary. So, I gave his album, I gave his album a light seven, pushing down to a six. Um, I think that, um, for me, Surf needs to be more like the song that he did, where he didn't sound similar to Meek Mill. It was a song on his album where he really stepped out the box and it was different and I and I, I would love to see him venture off and do something more different and really push his lyrical ability to the limits because Surf can rap he's a really good rapper and 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 to be fair most people are gonna like this album because that's what they call for this type of music but me I'm a little different I like artists I like rappers who are trying to be artists I don't just like rappers who are just rapping for now. So, like, share, subscribe to the page. Tell your family about me. You know what it is. Torture Talk.